time uh, I uh, recognize for as much time as he may consume uh, the chairman of the full Transportation Committee, Chairman Oberstar. Gentleman's recognized. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I uh, thank the uh, chair of the Aviation Subcommittee, Mr. Costello. He's already well and duly and thoroughly uh, explained the uh, FAA authorization uh, uh, extension that uh, is before us at the moment. I, I want to address, as uh, Mr. Petra has done, as uh, Mr. Uh, Garamandi and Mr. Uh, Sires uh, have done, the other provision in this bill. Uh, when we passed uh, the uh, Hiring Incentives to Restore Employment Act um, a time ago, uh, the, uh, uh, the legislation then was sent back by the Senate with some changes in the highway funding formula that I felt were unfair, unjust, unnecessary, and uh, I uh, held up the House consideration of the bill until we could reach an agreement with the other body. And a great, as I went on to explain this in meetings of the caucus, meetings with our committee members on both sides of the aisle, uh, that uh, the, the, the Senate version of this bill directed major highway discretion, discretionary program funding to a select group of states, four, who would get 58 percent of the funding. Twenty-two states get nothing. The other 20 got dribbles. That formulation would provide a permanent windfall for those four states, and not just a one-time shot, but a long-term uh, windfall because it would skew underlying highway formulas, changing the baseline for those four states that got the lion's share of the money. Uh, after uh, a good deal of discussion, consideration, I had a conversation with my very good friend from the time he served in the House. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid pointed out that there's $932 million in discretionary highway funding that we had formulated one way in the bill we passed in December. The Senate has now taken that language and skewed it in a different direction. And that's the wrong thing to do. And we'll change from our provision in the December bill that distributed that $932 million uh, in discretionary funding to the Secretary to fold it into the formula of the, uh, form, the regular highway formula for all of the states on a proportional basis, rather than just to the 29 states that had programs of, and projects of national and regional significance and national corridor infrastructure improvement programs. And that includes my state of Minnesota, which would have had benefited from the windfall uh, of, of the uh, Senate formula. I could have just said nothing it's out of my hands, let it go. It's very arcane, very complex uh, formula. Few people would have understood it, but it's the wrong thing to do. It's the wrong way to hijack the, ho the House bill uh, and hijack these funds and just simply allocate them to a few uh, states. And furthermore, the uh, language, the provision in the other body uh, uh, legislation um, designated seven programs as second-tier programs and further rated those funds, the Appalachia Development Highway System, the Rail Highway Grade Crossing, the Equity Bonus Program, Recreational Trails, Safe Routes to School, Coordinated Border Infrastructure, and the Metropolitan Planning Programs, relegated them to a, a second-tier status and deny them the opportunity to receive additional funding during the extension period and weaken their standing during the long-term authorization. Well, that's wrong. I explained it to Senator uh, Reid. He fully understood it. I, uh, I uh, proposed an exchange of letters, uh, which he did, and he said we'll, uh, we will uh, agree to the uh, adjustment as proposed in this uh, in, in, in the formula that I set forth, 
in which uh, I uh, ask unanimous consent to include in the uh, record at this point, Add including objection. the exchange of, uh, uh, of letters with uh, Senator Reid and our committee uh, summary explanation of, of this uh, provision. Today's action keeps faith with the House, uh, permits uh, Senator Reid to uh, uh, keep his commitment, which he uh, has, has done. He has uh, he's, uh, cleared this language with the uh, uh, relevant uh, uh, members of the other body, and I'm confident we'll correct this uh, uh, invasive mistake uh, and raid on the Highway Trust Fund with passage of this legislation. We will move today through the House, and uh, I expect very quickly, uh, similarly, through the other body. Uh, and I very much appreciate the cooperation of uh, Majority Leader Reid, Speaker Pelosi, uh, the uh, members of, of our committee, including uh, my good friend Mr. Micah, who uh, has been a partner in shaping this uh, language as we moved along, uh, and uh, Mr. Costello for adding this to the very important extension of the aviation authorization. Uh, with that, I yield back the balance of my time.